everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet. This is Taz. Today I just wanna share with you what I have been wearing lately. We all learn and be inspired by each other in this big wig wearing community and it's always so much fun to know what's everybody else wearing, right? Um, I'm gonna share with you what, I was, what I've been wearing in the month of February. This has been the wig that I've worn the most in the last couple of months, actually, ever since it came out. This is Trend Alert by Gabor in uh, Shaded Biscuit. And if you remember, and I have a video out there, how I added a little bit of a baby bang. I could not have worn this long unless I did this bang. This bang transformed the style and made it super wearable for me. I love this just slight little angle, this slight little bit of feathery wave, some volume on this, it's just above the collar. This screams Taz, and especially now that I can wear it comfortably, I am all about it. I wore this to the dentist office. Uh, I had to get some dental work done and I was there twice in two weeks and I wore this both times. And the girls in that office just always gush over, you know, what wig did you wear? There's actually a wig wearer in my, off, my dentist's office and I've become really good friends with her and we chat back and forth. It's so much fun to share. So again, a trend alert by Gabor. <clears throat> Lace front, left monofilament, side part, beautiful wave. I couldn't love this any more if it were made this way right out of the box. So let's move on to the next one that I've been wearing. You will also recall this one. This is the new Raquel Welch, Ahead of the Curve in SS 1488. I'm in love, guys. This has just been an amazing wig style. I think I've received the most compliments on this style um, just because it's so unique. You've got a little bit of a a-line cut here. It has some slight texture and wave. I was able to create enough lift at the front to keep it out of the eyes. <clears throat> Although this one would be a nice candidate for a baby bang as well. I just like the way it jumps off the lace front and feathers back. Capture those little highlights, uh, those pale gold blonde highlights of this 1488. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And it shapes and forms around my face so nicely. I've gotten it just the way I love it. My husband loves this wig. And it never fails to draw compliments. I use the heat from my hand in repetitive motions to train my wigs. And pretty soon, it's just when I plop it on, I shake it out before I put it on, plop it on and it falls right back into that style that I love. So Ahead of the Curve by Raquel Welch in SS 1488, a favorite of mine for the month. So I'm back wearing another fave this month. Boy, I fell in love with this style all over again. I reviewed it maybe five or six years ago, but I don't know if there's something different or my tastes have changed or I'm just accustomed to being able to work with wigs. But this is Cameron by Renee of Paris unbelievable style in fact when i got to looking at this i'm like yeah this kind of looks like the ahead of the curve by raquel welch um but with just a shorter bit of fringe which i love look how it frames the face i'm just in love with the wispy layering on this there's just so much dimension and interest in this style it is a shag style you see a pattern there right <laughs> i'm into my shag styles this month but uh the just that angle and that interest everywhere you look there's something fun to see on this style again it's just a machine made cap so you can part it wherever you want it's affordable it's a true shake and go or plug and chug wig like i like to say it's entirely tuckable i love that so there's not a whole lot of permatease there the layers the layers are very wispy and lighter density so you can just tuck and look as cute as you want in this one <laughs> love it love it and just that texture oh my goodness the volume the texture everything just seems to fall into place in this beautiful wig style cameron by renee of paris and in the color sugarcane if i didn't say this is not sugarcane r this is just 
straight sugar cane. Okay, let's move on. I wore this one most recently and I still have it back in my clips and I just plucked it off of this mannequin back here <laughs> because sometimes if I know I'm gonna wear a wig again or if I wear it in a particular style often, I'll just go ahead and leave in the clips. So I twisted back the sides and clipped it. Again, this is Beltress's Amber Rock and Tres Leches Blonde. And I like to pull some of the volume away from the sides. That just gives it a little bit of a slimmer profile. It has a beautiful lace front look. And it's got a lot of volume. You all know that. But it just works so beautifully together. This curl combined with this volume. I'm just absolutely in love. And I do get compliments and questions. My husband, were, my husband and I were at lunch last weekend and I wore this one. I went to the restroom and one of the ladies in there, cause I was washing my, uh, washing my hands and then just kind of fiddling with it. And she says, how did you get your hair to look like that? She says, did you get a perm? And I had to say, you know, this is a wig and just the jaw dropping moment. I love to spring those bombs on people. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> fun. It's so much fun. So when you get into that conversation, be prepared to tell them where they can get one because that's how striking this style is. Everybody wants one. Of course, you have to have that personality that you love curls. It just has to be a part of who you are. In order to wear these the best, you have to be comfortable in them. So again, my favorite curly style of the month, Amber Rock by Beltrust and Tres Leches Blonde. I have this style sitting up on my uh, dresser top in on a wig stand and this is the one that i reach for if i have to just run out real quick or uh, meet somebody real quick or you know i don't have a lot of time to think about hmm, what wig am i going to wear today i'm reaching for this one this is beltress's tia maria and champagne with apple pie absolutely beautiful style and again i'm wearing a lot of turtlenecks it's cold uh, jackets and things and this has just been perfect. I love this curl around the face. I feel like it can almost hide on the in this wig. Um, <clears throat> this is a no makeup wig for me too. So if I need to run out and do something, I don't have makeup on. I rarely wear makeup. You know, it's not obvious that I'm not wearing makeup because all you see is this hair, right? <laughs> so um, <clears throat> I did wear this to lunch though. My son and his family, his wife and son, came up a couple of weeks ago because there was a death in the family, and I, we took them to lunch. I wore this to the pizza joint here locally, so we just had a really good time. But again, this is so casual that I didn't have time to put on makeup. We just kind of ran out the door and decided we needed some lunch, uh, but just gorgeous. So I wore this in a sweater and was just just ever so comfortable. And I never feel like I'm overdone. I never feel like I'm underdone with this style. It's just so me. And I have to make a shout out to my friend Betsy because Betsy sent this wig to me and she said she wasn't wearing it and thought I could wear it. And I've been wearing it a lot, Betsy, and I thank you so much. You're the one who taught me about the baby bang because she put in a little bit of a baby bang there. Um, as she does with most of her wig styles. So I'm really enjoying it. Okay, this is it, everybody. This is what I've been wearing lately. We'll see you again real soon right here on Taz's Wig Closet.